Hi everyone, and thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to do something different in that I'm not going to do a project. I'm going to answer a question that I've seen pop up every now and then. And that is, a new builder has built a, their own machine, and then they're left with the question, which is my x-axis and which is my y? There's never any doubt as to which the z is, but some people find it difficult to figure out which is X and Y. Some people think it should be the long, that maybe the X axis should be the long one, and if they've come from a machine, or used the machine previously, that has had a long X, they may expect the long axis to be the X, or vice versa. And in actual fact, it's not the length of the axis that determines which is which, it's where you stand in relation to the machine. Let's have a look at my machine, and I'll explain why. We'll start by looking at Mac 3. This is a view of a toolpath to be cut on the machine. This is a view looking down on top of the machine, and what we need to look at is here. You will notice that the drawing shows X as moving left to right, and Y is going from front to back. Remember, we're looking down on top of this. If you remember back to your school days, you'll remember that when you did graphs, the X axis always went along the bottom, and the Y axis always went up the page. Likewise, if you look at your CAD software, you'll find the same thing, and your CAM software. In both of these, you'll see that X again will go across the bottom of the page and the Y will go up. Bringing us back to the CNC machine itself, if I stand here, then I would expect the X to go left to right and the Y to go front to back. And that way, when I cut out the project that I'm doing, it will look the same as it did on my PC. If I was to operate the machine from the side here, then I would expect this to be the x-axis and this to be the y. But it's not practical to operate the machine from here. Clearly this machine is designed to be operated from this position here. Now that's not always the case. My first CNC machine had no clearly defined X and Y axes. I could have stood in any position to operate the machine, and ultimately what decided it for me was where I ended up putting the machine in my workshop. I put it on a workbench and pushed it against the wall. At that point, there was only one position I could operate the machine from, and that determined my X and Y axes. So what are the problems of not following these conventions. Well, basically, it means that when you machine something, it will come out 90 degrees from what you see on your computer screen. Now, this may not be a big problem for yourself, but if you allow other people to use your machine, it will only cause them problems because things will not look like what they expect them to. Well, I hope those of you new to the hobby of CNC find this useful and will join me next time when I promise we'll find something more interesting to do. Okay well look thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you next time. Cheers!